Right, so this is going to be a little stencil. This is one of the ones that I had to go out and try to incorporate some of the lighthouses. We've got down Dovercourt and Harwich, which I really love. I think they make a really nice image, so I'm going to have a go at this one. Let me show you how I got to this point. So, what I'm going to do is I've got my 20 by 20 centimeter square ready to go for the artwork. I'm going to move that to one side. I've got this sort of scrap piece, not 20 by 20, but I'm going to use it for my um, stencil. Now, a stencil is like uh, just the whole shape of it, like the silhouette. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a silhouette. So if I was to turn this into a silhouette, I wouldn't include any of this detail in my design. I'm just going to have it as a, a straight shape. Make it nice and easy because I've got to cut it with scissors and stuff. I'm going to try and reduce the detail, so I'm not going to worry about some of these railings and stuff. But let's quickly get it on and then see see what it is now. I'm going to just use this pen so you can see where I'm doing my lines. It goes down to here now. Remember, this whole image is sort of halfway along. It's the actual water line, so halfway along. I'm going to do this water here. The little island that the lighthouse sits on, I'm going to do its legs down here, and they've got these gaps in. It comes down as little triangle gaps. Make it a little bit higher, a little bit rough. This is all the bit that I'm going to cut out. And then it comes onto a little jetty, the like the walkway, and the walkway is going to just come down here. And I want to incorporate the walkway as the um, as part of the stencil. And just to show you that stencil could be any other things, we're just doing a little shape here, so we're gonna do a heart. Because yours doesn't need to necessarily be um, lighthouses or anything like that. You can do any art about anything. So, I'm gonna just quickly cut this out. Really roughly, try to keep to the lines. cut right the way through it all because I want both pieces of um, pieces of the paper so I'm going to try and keep it as close to the line as possible rather than cut it straight off I want to keep all the pieces of paper together so I'm going to just quickly try and keep it all together as one piece and I'm going to go down here Don't worry if you cut over the line or you do it a bit too rough or you can always uh, patch it up later. I'm going to quickly do this. I'm going to quickly skip some of my lines so that we get to the finished outcome a bit quicker. But you can take more time on yours. You can use a knife if you want to, but this is a lot easier. I'm going to try and use a knife just on the middle bit, just for ease. But So I've got the shape. Um, also got this, and this is we want both pieces. In my heart, if you trouble trying to cut something, but get into it, you can always fold it a little bit and then just little nip it a little bit, just so you've got somewhere you can start with your scissors. But if we can keep hold of both pieces, that'd be great, and we can make some artwork out of them. So I'm just slowly going round. I've got my little heart. Also got it out cut out here. And then the final bit I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut out these little areas here. Just going to put them with a the stencil over there. Now. With this one, what we're going to do is I'm just going to put it on, on here now with the stencil. With the stencil, 
you need to hold it in place. Now sometimes it's good just to get a little bit of tape. If you roll it over on itself, and then just put it on some spots on it. It will just stop it from moving. You don't want that stencil to move. Now famous stencil artists like Banksy would secure their stencils. They also hold it while they're working on it. And then I'm just going to do this heart. I'm going to have it floating in the sky like we did in our design when I was drawing it out roughly. I'm going to pop it up here in the sky. And I'm going to do this in using some yellow and blue. I think the Harwich Festival has got like a, a yellow and blue and logo, I think. We'll have a look in a minute. But I'm going to do it. And what I need is a sponge. I've just got this little sponge. And the trick, the trick is sponge has to be dry. And with your paint, you get your paint. This is acrylic, but you can use poster paint. I'm just going up and down on the, the paint and just making it tacky. Just so I can go out even then I'm just going to put it onto our artwork. I'm just up and down. I don't move it across. I'm not brushing with it. Just up and down. And I'm just going across the design. yellow down here, a little bit over our lighthouse. Right. I'm going to use a separate sponge for the blue. It's better if it's dry. If it gets wet it's going to start it's going to start bleeding um, bleeding into each other. So remember straight up and down. Now you can reuse this going to go up to where we've, we've done our yellow. I'm not going to blend it for the moment, I'm just going to get all the main colour in. And instead of just doing a straight line, I want to sort of do it like a wave colour. But you're the artist, you can, you can do it however you want to. Well, finally, I'm going to go with the yellow again, but just on that bit where it's joining. Mix like a little bit of green. And there we go, right? And then finally, you could wait till it dries before doing this, but I'm going to have a go at trying to reveal. And there we go. Some stencil up. But it doesn't stop there. What we can do is we've got our stencil, we've got this one. What we can do, we've got our new image. And we've got our painted heart. And we've got our painted lighthouse. Maybe we could put these on as a as a collage. Right, two ideas for you, have we go up. Show us what you got.